once again welcome to Mima's Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful crossbody bag here with a neat pattern. Okay, this is our crossbody bag. Okay, you can also open the bag and this is the inside of our bag. Okay, so for this bag you're going to need a button. Uh, this is a 20 millimeter button. You're also going to need um, these hooks here for the handle. You're also going to need um, my cream. I used my cream. You can use cotton my cream or polyester my cream or any other type of yarn that you have. This my cream here is three millimeters thick. So just choose any other yarn that you have that is also thick, even t-shirt yarn. You're also going to need uh, a sewing needle and thread for the button. You're also going to need a scissors, uh, four stitch markers as well as a crochet hook i used a size six millimeter crochet hook um so this is what we're going to need for our bag so now let's begin so i'm going to begin with a chain of 50 so depending on the size that you want to make just make sure that your chain is um of even numbers that is two four six eight ten if you want it uh, smaller just reduce the number of chains but they just have to be even numbers okay so i'm just going to make them 50 okay so I begin with my slip stitch, okay, so I'm going to chain 50, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, so I'm just going to continue and come back when I have a chain of 50. Okay, so I now have my chain of 50 and it's a bit long, okay. So now we move on to our first row, okay? So our first row is going to be single crochet throughout, okay? So here I skip this first chain here and begin in the next, okay? So I'm going to skip this one and insert my hook into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over and pull through. I have two loops now. Yarn over again and then pull through. So that is my first single crochet. So I go on to the next chain. My second, okay, my third, okay, so I'm just going to continue with single crochet, okay, this one, down the chain up until I'm in the last chain, okay, so this is my first row. And I'm now towards the end of my row. So make sure that you crochet in the last chain. Okay. So this one is the last chain. Okay. So my first row is done. Okay. So now moving on to the next row, the second row. So it's going to be, we're going to be repeating these two rows, this is row one and row two up until we finish our bag, okay? So now I chain one. This is a turning chain to make sure that we maintain straight edges, okay? So it doesn't count as a stitch and then we turn. Now, in this second row, we're going to be doing half double crochet as well as slip stitch. Okay, we're going to be changing half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch until up until we finish. Okay, so in the first stitch, you always begin with slip stitch and you always finish with a slip stitch. Okay, so with slip stitch, here is how you do slip stitch. So we have these two loops at the top here. So I'm going to insert my hook here. You begin in the very first stitch. Okay, you grab your yarn, pull through, and then pull through again. Okay, so this is my slip stitch. Now, in the next stitch, I'm going to do half double crochet. So with half double crochet, you first yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again and pull through, okay? So that you have three loops on your hook, okay? Yarn over and then pull through. So that is my second stitch and this is half double crochet, okay? In the next stitch, I put slip stitch, Okay, in the next stitch, half double crochet. In the next stitch, slip stitch. 
like this okay and the next stitch half double crochet and the next slip stitch okay like this so this is the this is the right side and this is the wrong side okay so I'm just going to continue repeating half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch up until I'm at the end here and make sure that at the end here you finish with the slip stitch if you do not finish with the slip stitch that means somewhere here there was an error okay so let's do that and then come back okay so I'm now almost at the end of my first, second row okay here I just did a slip stitch so in the next I do half double crochet okay so this is the last stitch okay so this is the last stitch this one make sure you crochet into it so we're going to be have a slip stitch into this last stitch here okay like that so my second row my second row is done okay so if you turn your work you'll see that it now looks like this we have the single crochet and then the HDC and slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch okay so each time you turn make sure that you chain one so that you maintain straight edges okay so now I chain one and then I turn so my row three is going to be single crochet this one okay remember I said we're going to be repeating row one and row two up until we reach our desired length okay so now I'm going to do um, single crochet in my row three so this is my first stitch so I set my hook and do single crochet okay so just make sure that you are inserting your hook in the right place okay so you turn your work like this these are your stitches this ones okay so you turn the it and let it first you and then insert your hook okay and then do single crochet okay again single crochet like that in the next stitch single crochet in the next single crochet okay so just make sure that you insert your hook in the right um place okay so just turn your work like this so that you see where you're inserting your hook just below these two loops here okay again in the next okay so row three is going to be single crochet throughout and then row four you're going to repeat half double crochet and slip stitch okay so we're going to repeat row one and row two up until we have a total of 21 rows okay so we're going to repeat row one and row two up until our work has got 21 rows okay so it's just single crochet the other row and then the other row is half double crochet and slip stitch okay so let's do that and then come back make sure that you chain one whenever you turn okay welcome back so i now have 21 rows and this is how my work look like looks like okay these are the rows of half double crochet and slip stitch and this is the row of single crochet okay this is now uh the main piece now i want to crochet the sides okay so the sides we're just going to repeat what we did with this one but instead of doing a chain of 50 we're going to do a chain of 14 okay so let me show you okay so for the sides we're going to chain 14 okay so this is my slip knot just like we did when we began the bigger piece this one okay so i'm going to chain 14 that's one two three four five six seven so now we have 14 so now we're going to do is we're going to skip this first stitch and begin in the next and we're going to do single crochet ok 
okay the first row single crochet and the next single crochet again single crochet okay so i'm just going to continue up until i finish this row okay so i've just completed my first row next row i chain one okay chain one and i ten okay so the next row is going to be slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet up until we finish okay so in this first one i do a slip stitch okay in the next one i do half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet Okay, slip stitch, half double crochet. Okay, so I'm just going to continue up until I'm done with this row. Okay, so here I've completed the second row. Okay, so this is the first and this is the second. So the third one is going to be single crochet. Okay. And also, as we said earlier on, make sure that you insert your hook in the right place, okay? Below these two loops here. So, row three is going to be single crochet. Okay. Row three is going to be single crochet throughout. So, I'm going to continue and finish off row three and do row four and five okay so row four is going to be a repeat of row two and then row five is going to be single crochet so let's just repeat row one and row two up until we have five rows okay welcome back so i've just finished the five rows one two three four five so here i'm just going to hide this ends here i'm just going to cut them short and then hide them so that they don't show okay Okay, so I'm just going to continue and then come back. Okay, so I finished fastening off the end. So this is the piece here. You find that here it, it's a bit wider than this side. That's still fine. So you're going to make exactly another piece like this one. So that there are two like this. Okay, so this is for the right side and this is for the left side. So before we join them here, we want to put the hook as well as the button. Okay, this hooks for the handles as well as the button okay so we're going to place these hooks at the top here okay using our tapestry needle okay so i'm just going to be doing just the simplest okay make sure it's at the center so here you just find some way to Yes, um, your needle so that it comes out through the other side. Like this. Okay, good work. Okay, so I'm just going to continue here and then come back when it's firm enough. Okay, so this uh, hook is now firm enough. So here, I'm just going to cut here. You can tie if you want and then... So I'm just going to hide this um, ends here inside and come back. Okay, so now our hook is in place. I'm going to repeat again on this side and then come back. 
Okay, so we're done with this. Now we want to place the, the button. So here, um, this is my 21 roll. So before I cut the, 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 the my cream, the yarn, okay, we want to put a button hole here at the center here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the 11th row so i'm just going to put a stitch mark here so that i know where i want to put the button hole okay so we're going to continue and do single crochet we're doing this side but we're going to continue this side up until at this point okay so in this i'm going to put another single crochet okay and then just find some way to insert your hook we don't have stitches this side it's the sides okay the rows okay so just find some way to insert your hook and do a single crochet. It should be nice and neat. Okay. Okay. Like this. Okay, now I'm at the stitch marker. This is where we want to put our button hole. So here I'm going to chain two and then skip this part and insert my hook here. Okay, I'm going to skip this part so that we create a small hole for our button. So it depending on the size of your button, you you, you measure to ensure that it, it it can pass through. Okay, so mine it's fine. So I skip this part and then continue with single crochet. Okay, so that we have that hole here. now um, at the end here so I'm just going to finish off and then cut okay so here we're done so I'm just going to fasten this off this end here so that it is no longer visible and then come back okay so this part is done so we no longer need this so i'm just going to remove the stitch mark here we now have our hole for the button so now i want to join this side before we put this we saw it later okay so these are going to be the sides so this is going to be the lead okay okay so okay so i'll show you how to join one side and then you join the other one okay so I just move this so this side with the buttonhole you leave it okay and then come this other side which doesn't have the buttonhole okay so you find that here we have 14 stitches okay so I'm just going to begin joining the side okay so your stitches should go hand in hand. So we have four pating 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12 pating. Okay, so it's the same with this side. So I'm just going to take stitch markers to just hold um, the side in place so that it doesn't move. Okay, so I'll just begin with this part, the top part, like this. Okay. Then again, so this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I join the 13th stitches like this. Okay, like this. So, and then it curves here. We're just going to take five stitches from here. Okay, so I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five. This one is going to be joined at the corner here. Okay. And then from the fifth here, I'm going to count 13 stitches again up to this point. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this part should come here. Okay. So this is the side of our bag. So we're just going to join using our tapestry needle here. Okay, so I'm just going to join um, setting my hook, my, sorry, my needle. Okay, so now I'm at the corner here. I'm just going to insert here and then so I'm just going to remove this one. Okay, so now we're joining the bus. Let's just make sure that this points they correspond. Okay, so the best is almost done. So I'm here at the corner here. Just going to remove this again. Okay, so the best is done. We're now finishing off the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to continue like we're doing this side up until this point and then come back. So I've joined this side. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so now we want to do exactly what we did the side with this side. Okay, so you just take your the side and then here. Okay, so we're going to count these as stitches. This is one stitch, two stitch, three stitch. Okay, and then also we're going to join. To the side okay here we have stitches 
I'm just going to repeat what we did th that other side okay So I'm going to take my needle again and then join here and then come back. Welcome back. So I've just uh, joined the sides. Okay. And it looks like that. Okay. So this is our back. So now we want to put um, the bottom here as well as the handle. Okay. So now this is our back. So I'm just going to fold it. Okay want to see where we are going to put our bottom okay so here is my thread needle so this is where our bottom hole is so i'm just going to sew my bottom here okay okay so i'm just going to sew it in place and then come back okay so now my bottom is in place we want to put the handle okay we're just going to put a simple handle okay so if you have a chain a separate chain you can just attach it here as well as here and then you're done but if you don't have we're just going to do it this way okay so i'm going to make a slip knot here like this and then okay so i'm going to do a chain um the length of the handle that I want so I'm going, just going to do a chain of 80 okay three four five six seven eight so I'm just going to continue and then come back okay so I now have my chain of 80 okay this one so I'm just going to join the other end to the side okay Okay, so the side again set in there and do another single crochet like that and then 10 so we just want our handle to be a bit firm so we're going to do slip stitch into each chain okay up until we're back at the starting point okay so you just 10 and then continue doing slip stitch like this Okay, into one slip stitch into each and every chain, okay, like this. So I'm just going to continue up until I'm back here. So we've done a uh, slip stitch and now we're back at the starting point. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the rim, like this, and then pull through, and then cut. Okay, so here we have these two. two strands here. So we want to cutting them off. Okay, so I'm just going to pulling them through these holes and hiding them inside the handle okay so that they are not visible
okay so I'm just going to continue uh, pulling these inside and hiding them inside so that they are not visible up until I no longer see them okay okay so this is our handle and it's done okay okay so thank you for watching Mima's crafts please do subscribe like and comment for more videos this is our handbag and it's dying it's nice and portable okay thank you if you have any comments or questions please do ask i'll be happy to respond thank you